In our previous two tutorials, we have seen how to create embeddings of a text file or a CSV file or any other documents. And in this video, we will see how we can store those vectors in a vector database. So these databases are specially for storing these embeddings. And the purpose is that every time you cannot go and create these embeddings again and again. And instead of creating them again, you can create once, save them in a vector database. So the next time when you come and you want to use set embeddings, you can just load those embeddings into your environment in your Jupyter Notebook or IDE and you can use them. So ChromaDB is an open source vector database that helps you store these embeddings and retrieve it whenever you want to use it. We will see how we can create embeddings of a text file and how we can save this in ChromaDB then how we are going to retrieve from this ChromaDB and use it. So now let's do it step by step. First I will import from langchain.text splitter import character text splitter then from langchain underscore community dot document loaders import text loader we are going to read a text file and then from langchain underscore community dot embeddings dot sentence transformer import sentence transformer embeddings and then we are going to import this chroma or chroma dv we are going to import it as chroma i will write here from langchain underscore community dot vector stores import chroma the first thing we are going to do is we will read a text file i will make an object of this text loader i will call here loader and then i will call this text loader and inside this i will pass the text file name and my text file name is state of the union dot text and then i will pass one more parameter encoding this parameter is optional this you have to use only if your text file is having some issue with its encoding type otherwise you don't have to use this parameter this is an optional and then let us execute our code and i will print this loader also so this is nothing but an object which is present at this location to see the actual content of this text file we will have to call a function on this loader object and then save it in a new variable so i will make one new variable documents and then i will call here loader dot load function and then i will print here documents and here in the output you can see that we have this document and to print it in a more clear way i will write here documents zero dot page content So here you will see we have this uh, document here and th these are the text file and it is about a speech from the president and you will see th there are a lot of stuffs in this text file. This is a big document so our first task is going to be to split the document into chunks and chunks are nothing but to break this document into small pieces 
and the reason is that when you write a question and when you want to search for answer in this document so instead of going through all the document it will just find the answer into that relevant chunk so it will be easier for the LLM model to get the output easily otherwise you will have to scan the entire document so when we create this small chunks it will just go to the particular chunk where the actual answer is present and it will get it from there let's do that i will make an object text splitter and then i will call the class character text splitter and this we have already imported here let me show you so this one the first you can see here we are making an object of this class character text splitter and inside this we have to pass some parameter the first one is chunk size and we are saying that it should be 1000 and then chunk overlap we are saying zero that means when we create this chunk we do not want them to overlap and then let us execute our code and let me print this text splitter here so this is nothing but just an object now we have we will going to use this text splitter to split our this text here i will make a variable docs and then i will call this text splitter object that we just created and from this i will call the function split document and inside this i will pass our document and if you see here this is our document or the text file and then let us execute our code and let us also print it so it says that instead of creating a chunk size of 1000 it has created a chunk size of 2046 which is longer than the specified so this is the size given by me but it says that it is a good idea to create a chunk size of 2046 and if i check the length of this document i will write here length of docs so it has created five chunks of this entire document that is five parts and each part will have this number of words 2046 now since we have this splitted document the next step is going to embed and for that first we are going to create a embedding object i will write here embedding function so this is just a variable name and then i will call here sentence transformer embeddings that we had already imported if you remember this one and let us go here and inside this i will pass model name that is that we are going to use to embed this text and the model name is going to be all meaning lm and then l6 version 2 let us execute our code and we are creating this function or an object of this class sentence trans transformer embeddings that we are going to use to create this embeddings let's print this embedding function so we have this hugging face embeddings and these are the steps first one is transformer then pulling and then normalize now we will load the model into chroma we are just loading it into chroma not on our disk that we will see in a few minutes later i will make one object db that is database and then i will call chroma from this i will call from underscore documents inside this the first thing that we have to pass is our document that we want to embed 
and we want to embed this docs where we have splitted this into five chunks so here we have this docs so this is going to be our first parameter that we want to embed second is going to be our embedding function that we are going to use and we are going to use this embedding function here i will pass this here embedding function and then let us execute our code doc is not defined i have to write here s and if i print this db so it is taking some time it is still executing you can see here now if i print this db so it says that this is nothing but a vector store of from chroma now we will query on this embedding vector saved in this database object using function similarity search so as our embedding is stored in this database object we can query on this database object to get our answers from this text file so instead of querying on this document where we see the actual text we will query it on this database object because here we have embeddings along with its document so now let's do that i will write a query or a question that i am going to save in this variable query and my question is going to be what actions does the speaker suggest to improve mental health especially among children this is my query so what it will do it will go and search in the document and get the relevant chunk because we have five chunks here so it will give us the output so it will do the similarity chunk uh, similarity search and it will try to find out which chunk has the most similar answer for this output and it will give us so now let us execute this code and if i print this query so we have this question here what actions does this speaker suggest to improve mental mental health especially among children and we will store this answer in a variable let's say a result and then i will call here db dot from this database object i will call the function similarity search and inside this i will pass this query here and then let us execute our code and print this result object so we have done this similarity search this is the most important function and now it has given us these output and if you look at this parameter of similarity search so one of the value is integer is equal to 4 so the default value is 4 this means that it will give us four four chunks or four outputs that are most relevant to this question and out of this four the first one is going to be the most relevant followed by the second third and fourth you might not found, find information relevant in the second third and fourth chunk but the first chunk will always have an answer that is very close to the query that we are asking so now instead of looking at this entire output so we have this if you see this document one then document two and then this is document third and this document four so it has given us four answer now we are going to just look at the first one because the first document will have the most accurate answer i will just print here result zero dot page underscore content and now here in the output you can see we got the correct answer here it says that second let's take on mental mental health especially among our children whose lives and educations 
have been turned upside down. The American Rescue Plan gave schools money to hire teachers and help students make up for lost learning. So these, so and etc. So you can see that we got the exact result for our query. So this was our query. What action does the speaker suggest to improve mental health, especially among children? And this is the exact answer that we get in our first chunk. And if you look at the second one, the answer will not be relevant. So I'll print the second one is result of one. And so here it is talking about third support our veterans. Veterans are the best of us. So you can see that this answer is not relevant. That is why it is at the second number and the first number will always have the accurate one. Now we will see how we are going to save this embeddings on our disk. So the next time when we want to use it, we will just load it from our machine and use it instead of creating embeddings for our text file again and again. So what we did here, we created these embeddings and saved in this variable dv and from there we did the query. That is we did the similarity search and we got the output. But now we are going to save this embedding in our disk and I'll show you that. I'm going to make another object dv2 and then I will call this chroma. From this I will call from documents and then our first variable is going to be docs. Second is going to be embedding functions that we already seen. Now since we are going to save this embeddings in our laptop or computer then we will have another parameter and the next parameter is going to be persist underscore directory and here you have to write here dot slash and then you have to give a name to this embeddings that you are going to save in your machine i will write here chroma underscore db and then i will press enter So this will save this embeddings in our machine now instead of calling or instead of creating it again and again. Now if you want to use this embeddings you will have to load this chroma underscore db in your Jupyter notebook and you can use it. So let's do that. I will make third object db3 and then I will call here chroma. This time we are reading it we are not saving it. Now inside this I will call here or pass this persist directory and then I have to tell this that where is my embedding store or what is the name of this embedding I will put here dot slash chroma underscore db and then embedding function is equal to embedding function and let us execute our code and now if I print this db3 so we have this community vector stores chroma now we can use this directly to do the similarity search that we did above but this time we are doing it from this saved embeddings that we have just loaded from our directory and you can also see this I can show you this in my folder if I go here chroma underscore db so you will see somewhere here it has created a folder so here you can see chroma underscore db and inside this we have these objects here and then we also have this chroma dot sql or sql light 3 where we have all our embedding store so this will create a folder whatever name you give now instead of chroma db so you see here i have this chroma db that i have shown you just here i can also pass like something like underscore new and if i execute this so you will see it will create a new vector store chroma db new now if I go here and let me scroll down 
so you see that we have this chroma dv new and instead of chroma dv i can use this chroma dv new also and then i will call this tv3 and now let's do our similarity search and then we are just done for this where this uh, tutorial i will write here let's say i will write here result one and then i will write here tv3 dot similarity search and then i will pass this query again that we already have here this one so i will just write here query and then i will print this result one and now I, i'll show you that parameter this int4 now let's not in for it is actually k parameter the parameter name is k not int sorry for my mistake so now i will just change it k is equal to 2 so instead of giving me four result it will only give me two result and if i print so here in the output you can see we got this output here and now i have just two result this is the first one and this is the second one and if I just want one result, I will just make k is equal to 1. And now I should get only one result. So I got this one result only. And this is the most accurate one. So here it is. It says that let's talk, let's take on mental health, especially among our children whose lives and whose lives and educations have been turned upside down and so on. So we got the accurate results here and we, we we have got this result this time from our saved our vectors or save embeddings not from the one that we have uh, used on the fly and then there is one more function a small one so for that you can i'll just copy it from here and then i'll paste it here and here similarity search with score so I have this with score and then I will just try to read this 2 and this also has 2 and now here you will see that I got a score also. So this is the score that I have received for this result and this scores mean that the less the number it is the more accurate your results are. So you can also use this uh, function similarity search with score to get the score for how relevant is your answer. So this is how you can create vector embeddings, store it in your chroma DV, call it from there and then do the similarity search and you will get your correct result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.